You want to see the market be above the mode once this uptrend is started. You can see that this high here, zoom in a little bit. So this high, this month of December, is the lowest high in the uptrend. So that price is 17.18, which is why I have it over here. So if we get over 17.18, then the market is above the mode. You've got a, a trend in place here, and uh, then you make, you know, you can make upside projections in the short run in this one. So I'm kind of basically covering you know, what would the trend be. Let me make a what color? But uh, like yellow, blue. Let's make blue. Blue will be the box. Measuring this price range, I'm just assuming again that this is going to be the trend. So it's early to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So this gives you a projection of about 2160. Put the horizontal ray, put that right here, and maybe make that a red mark because that's a level we want to, you know, we want to see the mark we get to. <clears throat> Got that? So you can kind of see there's a lot of resistance here. You want to first see the mark you get there to uh, to this this mode over here. So I'll just mark that on the chart. And we can sort of look at, you know, a market that will just chop, react to this level, react to that level, etc. So, why don't uh, I go back and see if I can walk you through what the uptrend looked like and see if we can figure out if that was a logical termination point. Because, again, I, I have not looked at silver uh, from that perspective into the 2011 high. Let's see if we can work out uh, a logical construction again for you know why the market topped where it did and see if that makes sense. Um, there's quite a bit of work to do um, on this trend in terms of you know counting how many uh, months are at any one price um, and my rule on maximum months at one price or maximum bars is 20. As soon as you get to 20, the market's operating on the next higher time scale, so you will start looking at quarterly charts. So that's the reason why I'm not looking at weekly. You can very clearly see there's far more than 20 weeks at any one price here. Um, so that's why I'm looking at months. So and you can clearly see there's a cluster Again, right around this uh, 18 area. So let's try to count that real quick. And uh, again, if you're if you're bored by all this, just forward through a little bit, and uh, you're just going to see me in my my uh, slow, methodical way of thinking and you know, walk through what what uh, silver was doing. Um, that color is a little hard to see. So let's go with maybe orange instead. So I have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's, I see 14 there, so let's just label that 14. It looks like there's a lot more than 14 right in there, but let's just say you'll start to train your eye really quickly to look for uh, price clusters. Let me do these two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it's right over my uh, rule of uh, 20, which is a sign I should really be looking at the quarterly charts. Um, so, either way, that, that's, that's the rule of 3, 6, 8, 9, 10. 13, 14, 15, yeah. I get a 15 right about here. So I can slide this whole thing. If I can grab it right on the edge. Doesn't work, I just grab the whole thing. 
<clears throat> I'm seeing the finer points of how to remove these. Uh, and now I can grab the whole thing. But it is it is tricky to grab just the right spot. And then in the future, I think we'll be able to label uh, to have the, the program draw these for us automatically. Um, I don't think the volume works on this time frame, so um, either way, that's that's kind of the game. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I actually count sixteen that time. Um, and twenty one's down here, so let's just look and see what, what twenty one gets us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 21 gives us the high. Uh, the close of that month is 21 months. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I was not expecting that. Let's look and see if we can figure out you know, if there's a reason why, uh, price-wise, that is a logical number. We can look at uh, percentage because um, everything that touches this 21 is right here up to here right so it's 154 percent so let's try going from here and going up 154%. And see where that gets us. Right, it gets us to about here. Um, so that only gave us a rally to about 34. So based on time, it, it actually closed right at the highest high based on um, the price of the accumulation, um, you know, the, the movement around the accumulation allowed us to project a move up uh, to 34, 31, using percentages. Because <clears throat> whenever you have a big per you know, percentage move from low to high, you want to use percentages. And we could look at those over here as well for uh, other numbers. So um, I'm sure there are um, you know, other techniques um, that could help you get the low, like from this low 4 to this level here is 13. 4 into 13 is roughly 3 times. Right? And 8, 12, uh, two and a half times. So let's do that a percentage. Because what you can do is just from the lowest low up to the most frequent. So two and a half times. And then you can project up from here two and a half times. Let's see where that gets. Oh, okay, this is getting a lot closer. That's really nice actually. So you know, from the lowest low going back. Uh, you know, the same distance before the frequent price, um, you can get a level of, uh, you know, 13 and a quarter, and this low to here is two and a half times, and from here to here is two and a half times, and so that gives you a pretty good technique for giving you the, the price of the high. So we could do the same thing from here, the highest high, um, down to the, to the most frequent level, it's 36% off, um, pretty sure we got below that, but let's do um, $18. Thirty-six percent is right. Oops. 
6 close so that gave you that level which you know interesting enough this might be why people are looking for a bottom at that point in time um, kind of do some free willing um, and obviously eighteen dollars gives you a little lower eighteen a, a price drop of eighteen dollars and twenty eight cents I can't I'm trying to get it just right there you go. Um, that would mean the market would have dropped to 1339. I can label that in there with the green line. I don't know if hit it in the right spot, but <clears throat> that is time in time at a price, uh, time at mode, one or the other. Um, for silver, using weekly and uh, monthly bars. And again, this is using front month silver, COMEX futures, and these are the uh, 5,000 ounce contracts. There is a small silver contract, which is 1,000 ounce, and that um, can analyze also, but it's just not as liquid. And either way, hope this was uh, interesting and informative and uh, Let's see where the next move for silver is, which um, I guess I could have gotten into. Um, using the techniques here, you can tell I really planned out this speech, huh? Um, you can see uh, that you have a mode here at 14. That is where you would target for the upside. And the general time frame of this would be um, you know, 14 months because this distribution is 14, you decline for 14, and you look for an advance for 14. That's how you let the market tell you what time frame it's on and and not just pick your own. So again, if at the end of this month we're over this 1718 level, this new uptrend's in effect, you've got a short term target here. Uh, longer term, you know, we're looking for um, we, meaning the myself and the method is looking for a move to 31. Anyways, thanks. If you have any questions, please come to tradingview.com. Search me out. Search out Tim West and uh, send me a message. Uh, post a chart there of what you think. Uh, ask me to comment on it. And look forward to hearing from any of you, all of you, at tradingview.com. All right. Have a great day. This is May 13th, 2015. Have a great day. Bye.